Hey, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Um, there's a little break in this winter where it's actually five, six degrees today, and that's an opportunity to remove my carburetors. Now, don't let this uh, mechanics outfit fool you. You can buy them for $25 at uh, Men's Works Warehouse and put on a MGB sticker. I am not a mechanic, so if you're an MGB mechanic or an MGB owner that whips out an engine and changes the clutch or restores cars like my friend Steve, this is not for you other than perhaps a humor factor. I've never touched a carburetor other than to adjust them for the first time this summer, but I'm about to remove the carburetors and I want to package them up and send them out west to Island Automation who will do a complete rebuild of these carburetors and put in the proper needles for the engine that I have because my engine has been rebuilt and has a sport cam, shaved heads, and a few other things. So, this may be useful for people who, like me, have an MGB, want to take a, a little bit more active role in the uh, maintenance, and upkeep of the MGB and eventually maybe get to the point where we too can take out an engine in a day or two and change a clutch. Can't imagine that day ever coming for me but you never know. So today uh, without any help and just I think one paragraph in the Haynes manual um, I'm going to remove the carburetors. Now I don't think this is a big job however I think putting it back on in couple of months when it comes back might prove to be a little bit more challenging than removing it. So my goal here is to just basically undo anything and everything that's attached to the carburetors until I get to the final two bolts on each side and remove the SUs together. So stay tuned, I will try to walk my way through the actual steps. Um, but I don't think it's that difficult. So let's go. So the first step is to remove these air filters, which should be fairly simple. If you can't do it by hand, then we're just going to get a little Just need this to get it started. They're not a standard size. I couldn't find what size they are. They're, they're an in between size, but once they're loose, you can do it by hand. On my car, these are half inch. So I am going to get underneath with one. And undo here. And once I get it loose, I think I can do most of it by hand. So what I like to do is put everything back the way it should go for when it, they, the uh, carburetors come back. There we go. So we have the two air filters with the gasket, which we can put away for the next two months until the carburetors come back. So now I'm looking at what's left. Um, and there's a few things connected, so let's start with um, these overflow. Uh, uh, mine's broken here. Okay, 
Here we go. So now we got these off, but I have to get that off here. Put this down a bit, and then that should pull a screwdriver and then just pull it out. And that's going to go into the float with the hole down, and we're going to point out to the guy that it needs repair. Okay, so I see that we have two fuel intakes, one for each uh, pump, and I also see this a lot of swelling on this pipe here, so this may be something I want to change before I put the new ones on. But in the meantime, I'm just going to disconnect them from the, the uh, pump there. And I'm guessing I'm going to have some fuel that will drip out, so I'll get ready for that. Okay, so i got a little container here. And I guess I'm going to undo this clamp for the fuel. And move it over. And looks like it's coming off. And then if I want it down, do I have any gaps? Not much. But I can tell you one thing, this whole fuel thing is needing replacement because it's ripped. And that could be an issue, right? It could be one of my problems. So I'll do the other one, see what happens. And as I can see, the rubber has bubbled here too, so I think all of these need replacing. I'll we'll just get this little container ready. Because I need something. Oh yeah, we got gas. Okay, so we have just a little bit of gas. The next thing I see connected is this vacuum gauge thing here. So I will disconnect that and put it here. And then we have we have one, two, three springs. So I'm gonna take a picture of that. So I know how to put it all back. And then we have the choke and the throttle here that has to come out. So here I'm going to take a good video of where everything goes and how it's connected. So I'm going to do a wide angle video. And basically get in there, one, two, three, and where they connect on both carburetors. Ah, there. And we see that it connects. Yeah. Two, three. So we have one, two. And that just connects onto there, and the third one connects right in here. So we'll undo those springs and we'll undo those cables. I'll just let it hang down, and the next spring. We need to get into that small little nut and loosen it. It has to go in. Now released. So 
So this broke. As I said, it will be challenging to put it back. Okay, and we will continue. Mine is a 7 16. Okay, and that one is also that one maybe a half, right? Oh no, that's 7 16 and the other 7 16. So we'll undo this. And we'll loosen it. And I'm thinking that we just have to loosen it a bit. No, a bit more, I guess. Until this just pulls out like that. Well, <laughs> I think I'm going to start by loosening these up. Oh, and they are loose. They're not tight. Oh, I should take a picture of how that goes on on the outside. This goes on on the outside here and also on the outside of that one. the move yeah so now what happens okay good so I'm just gonna get a place ready to put them down There they are. Carburetors off my car. So now once the carburetors came off, they just kind of pulled apart. Um, and now we have the carburetors. And that, my friends, is how you take off a carburetor or two carburetors, SU carburetors, from an MGB. It was relatively successful, except for the little teeny bitty piece that I broke from the choke cable. Hopefully that's $1.99 at Moss Motors or my friend Steve. Steve at the sports car factory will be able to go upstairs and miraculously pull one out and say, here, here's just what you want. I'm going with that option, but if not, I'll be researching the Moss Motors. So thank you for joining me today. Um, if I gave you experienced mechanics and MG enthusiasts a laugh, well, that's good, right? Everybody needs to laugh. And if you're thinking about taking your carburetors off and sending them to somebody to rebuild them, um, maybe this helped. Thank you.